lay down on the ground. Keep your knees bent to relax even more the lumbar spine. Roll the arms outward, slide the shoulder blades over the waist. Close your eyes. Inhale deeply and exhale fully with your mouth. Relax your forehead, eyebrows, and the skin between the eyebrows. Relax your eyes and let them sink deeper into the skull. Relax the skin of your face and clench your jaw and let your lips open slightly. Relax your throat, neck, and shoulders. Arms, forearms and hands. Relax your back, the muscles of your back and your spine. Vertebra for vertebra. Relax your belly and the whole abdominal area. Relax your hips, groins, thighs, hamstrings. Relax your knees, calf, shins. Relax your ankles and feet till the very tip of your toes. Bring the awareness into your breathing cycle and start observing every aspect of your breathing cycle. Which part of your body moves the most? the chest or the belly. If both moves, which one move first? Observe without changing anything. Observe simply to know yourself. Observe the length of your breathing cycle. Inhalation and exhalation have the same length. Or one of them is naturally longer. Observe the small pauses between inhalation and exhalation. And between exhalation and inhalation, the small moments where everything stops, even your breath. Become aware of the four phases of your breathing cycle. Inhalation, pose, exhalation, pose. And there too, observe, is one of the two poses. Longer compared to this second one, or the two has got the same length. Observe also that your throat is always open, free, relaxed, even, in the suspended states. Three more observing breaths. At the end of the third, take control and create a breathing cycle of the same length, both inhalation and exhalation. Create a long, slow, 
controlled breath. Long, slow, controlled breath. Same length, inhalation and exhalation. This is not a challenge. So check your body. If there's any tension rising up, step back and create a controlled breath that you can keep for several minutes. Not a difficult one, but a calm, relaxed, easy breath. Controlled, but easy. Long, slow, controlled breath. Observe your mind easing down, relaxing. Thanks to the breathing technique. Observe how your body reacts to the breathing technique. Slow, long, relaxed, controlled breath. Last moment. Take advantage of those moments before going back to a normal breath. Observe briefly your body and your mind. When you feel ready, roll on the right side. Stay on the right side for a brief moment before pushing with the left hand to sit up. Sit on your heels, but just pay attention not to have the feet rolling outward. Check to have the feet really close and aligned. Keep it there and slowly. Yeah, they're flat. That is the two. Um, yeah, the, the, the idea is even if it's often easier to roll the ankle outward, the idea is to have it just like in, um, in Tadasana. So the, the big toes are touching and the heels are slightly apart. So it can be harder to sit in this variation 
if it's too hard, you can always put either a block between the, the feet or you can seat over a bolster. So put the bolster between the heels and the buttocks. Okay. Sternum up, shoulder blades down. And since it's not hard enough, <laughs> roll the uh, hip backward, put your hands behind your feet, put your hands on, on the ground, okay, lift your hip, tag the tailbone under, and allow the buttocks to go down to the heels again. Observe the thighs are in tension now, are working, are lengthening. Keep rotating the hip backward to keep the thighs stretching. Three breaths. At the end of the third breath, slowly go back to the normal position. Okay. Roll the hips forward. Open your knees as wide as the mat. Straighten your arms, arms straight, but put the arms back into the shoulder socket. Roll the arms outward. The elbows are not touching the ground. Move the sternum toward the, the front of the mat and the shoulder blades toward the, the back of the mat. The front of your body, move toward the front, the back of your body, move toward the, the back. Three breaths. Push your chest toward the, the ground, but the elbows not touching the ground. Still lifted, active. Okay. Slowly. Walk back with your hands. Keep the hands on the ground, quite close to the knees. Inhale. With the exhalation, roll your hips backward, push the spine to the back, look at your belly. Inhale, roll the back, uh, roll the hip forward, arch your back, look at the sky. Exhale, look at your belly. Inhale, look at the sky. Exhale, belly. Inhale, sky. One last time. Exhale, belly. Inhale, sky. Okay. Now, Enter Dandasana, the stick pose, and grab a strap. Okay. Keep the feet flexed and put the strap just around the wider part of your feet. It's not a loop, just uh, the two uh, sides of the Strap. Okay. Stand them up, shoulder blades down. Keep the arms straight. Keep a good tension between the arms, the strap, and the feet. Stand them up, shoulder blades down. And now, without Moving the shoulders, roll the hip forward to arch your spine. 
and look at the sky. Keep on rotating the hip forward and observe that the more the hip rotate forward, the more the back of your legs, the hamstring, need to lengthen. Three breaths. At the end of the third, come back to center. Walk forward with your hands on the strap. Now, lift the sternum, shoulder blades down, roll the arms outward. Push the shoulders back, chest to the front. Keep the spine straight. Rotate the hip forward to give the message to, to your hamstring to lengthen. Three breaths. At the end of the third, release. And walk slightly forward on the strap. Even more, yes. Inhale deeply. With the exhalation, lift your sternum, shoulder blades down, roll the arms outward. Rotate the hip forward to give the message to your hamstrings to lengthen. And now, activate your quadriceps, activate your thighs, and push the thighs and the knees down to the ground. Sternum up, shoulder blades down. Unclench your jaw. Relax your belly. Three breaths. At the end of the third, release everything. Bend your knees slightly, put your, hand, put your feet on the ground. Put your hands over the knees and create circles with the lumbar spine. Both on one side and on the other. Now, lay down on the ground, keep the knees bent, with the feet quite close to the buttocks. Grab the strap, lift your right leg and put the strap around the wider part of your right feet. Stretching your leg. Arms straight, legs straight. Push the shoulders down toward the ground. Sternum up, shoulder blades down, even in this position. And now, push the heel toward the sky and the toes toward your face. Push slightly with your left feet against the ground cr to create a rotation of the hip that allowed yourself, allowed your leg to go a little bit closer to your chest. Even if it's just a micro millimeter, it's not a problem, it's just the direction. It's not the length. Three breaths. At the end of the third breath, allow the leg, uh, the, the feet to go down to the ground, quite close to the buttocks. Lift your left leg, put the strap around the wider side of your left feet 
leg straight, arm straight. Push the shoulders toward the ground. Push the heel toward the sky and the toes toward the face. Push the right feet against the ground. Rotate the hip and go a bit deeper with the legs toward the chest. Three breaths. At the end of the third, slowly allow your left feet to go down to the ground again. Okay. Roll on the right side. Push with the left hand to sit up. Grab a brick. Put the brick just under your buttocks. And allow the two feet to go outside of your buttocks. So you can even put your hands be, um, between your inside feet and the outer, um, yes, perfect. So it's really to the side. I'm going to show you also from this side. So it's really to the side, but the two knees, uh, but the knees are touching. Okay. Cool. If you're really comfortable, you're lucky. <laughs> if you're not comfortable, you can also move your um, bricks uh, on a higher version or put a second one. If you're super high or uh, hyper comfortable, you can get rid also of the first block. <laughs> so find your version and just stay there for five breaths. At the end of the fifth breath, Put your left feet close to the right knee. Okay. Put your hands behind your buttocks on the ground. Lift your hip. Tap the toe under and allow the buttocks to go down to the ground to the blocks again. So the stretch of the right thigh is quite intense usually. Set them up. Three breaths. At the end of the third breath. Push with your left feet against the ground and lift your hip. Lift, lift, push, push, lift. Okay. Now, put your right feet next to the left one. Bend your left one and put it back close to the brick. Slowly, slowly lower your buttocks on the brick again. Tuck the tailbone under to lengthen again the thigh but the left one. Three breaths. At 
for the end of the third. Come up and put the chi knees together and the feet close to the brick again. Okay, now with the two hands behind the brick on the ground. Lift your hip, tap the toe under and stay there for three breaths. At the end of the third breath, allow your buttocks to go down to the brick again. Push the two knees together and actually imagine to push, uh, to pull from the inner knee to the inner thigh. Imagine that you are really moving the skin from the inner knee to the inner thigh. Okay. Bend your elbows and try and lower your body. On your elbows. Yay! Beautiful! Five breaths. Keep your hands in contact with your feet. No matter where, no matter how, just in contact. Keep on tucking the tailbone under. Keep on moving the inner knee to the inner thigh. And observe that when you do this, actually, naturally, the two knees go together. At the end of the fifth breath, slowly walk up with your hands. Okay. And now enter the child pose. So move on the other side. Three breaths again. At the end of the third. Then that's it up. Set them up, shoulder blades down, roll the hip forward. Keep your um, uh, feet flexed. Okay. Roll the arms upward, push the, the thumb back, but in the meantime, rotate the hip forward and lower your chest. Yeah, it's super hard, I know. <laughs> Set them up, shoulder blades down, three breaths. At the end of the third breath, grab with your hands either the uh, calf or the, the ankles or the feet, where it's comfortable for you. Keep the spine straight, sternum lifted, shoulder blades down, three breaths. At the end of the third breath, bend your knees and walk back with your feet. Grab your, uh, grab your knees and find a balance. Allow your spine to unwind a bit. So relax your spine. Let it go round. Allow your head to move toward the chest. Close your eyes and breathe deeply. Observe that the more you breathe deeply, the more your body moves.
observe your body moving. Last moments. Lift your head, open your eyes, lift your shins and put your hands next to the shins. Sternum up, shoulder blades down, three breaths. At the end of the third breath, grab with both hands the right feet. Yes! Yay! Yay, yay! If it's super hard, you can put your left feet on, uh, on the ground, grab the right one, and then try and lift again the left one. Okay. When you are in this position, start threatening the right leg. You can always put the left feet on the ground in case. Three breaths. At the end of the third breath, go back to a natural position. <laughs> that is the hard one <laughs> in balance. Okay. Grab the left feet with both hands and start lifting your feet to stretch the left leg. Three breaths. At the end of the third, go back. Navasana, with the two um, shins parallel to the ground, the hands next to the shins. Just a brief moment. Okay, now put both uh, feet onto the ground, grab the legs. Allow the head to touch or to go toward the legs. And slowly, slowly walk forward with your feet to lower your legs and chest. Keep the chest in contact with your legs. And relax the muscles. Use just the gravity to go down. Five breaths, close your eyes. At the end of the third, Slowly come up again. Now, grab the right ankle, roll on the left side of your body, and put your right ankle just outside of your right buttock. Okay, perfect. Put your hands behind the buttocks. and lower your body on your elbows. Okay. Bend your left leg. Okay. And push slightly 
with the left feet against the ground to create a small torsion, a small, uh, sorry, a small um, rotation of the hip to lengthen the lumbar spine. The more you push with the left uh, feet, the more you will have the thighs stretch. Three breaths. At the end of the third, come up with the spine. And now put the left feet outside of your right leg. Okay? Grab the ankle and move the ankle closer to the other ankle. It's not touching the ground, it's just over the other ankle. Yes, just there. Stand up, up shoulder blades down. Put your left hand outside of your right shins. Okay, perfect. Use the, the left hand on the right shin to help you twist. Sternum up, shoulder blades down. Roll the arms upward, push the, um, the thumb back and look behind you for three breaths. At the end of the third, slowly come back to center. <laughs> Go back to um, <clears throat> an easier pose. Now, Grab your left ankle and put the left ankle right outside of your left buttocks. Bend your right leg and lower your body on your elbows. Okay. Push slightly with your right leg, with your right feet against the ground. To lengthen even more and stretch even more your left um, your left thigh. Three breaths. At the end of the third breath, come up. Grab your right leg right ankle and put the right ankle the more you can over the left one okay put your right hand outside of your left shin sternum up shoulder blades down roll the left arm outward push the thumb back sternum up shoulder blades down Three breaths. At the end of the third, slowly come back to center. Okay, we do weird things today. I know. Grab again the right ankle, put the right ankle just outside of your right buttocks, bend your left leg, grab your, um, your left uh, feet with both hands, okay, and now lean backward, lift your feet and slowly, slowly start straightening your leg. In case it's impossible to keep your leg straight, use the belt, put the belt on the, outer, um, on the wider part of your feet. Mm. 
Yay! That's beautiful. Stand them up. Shoulder blades down. Five breaths. At the end of the fifth breath, bend your knees. And now, slide index finger and middle fingers between the big, uh, big toe and the second one for the yogi grip. Okay. Once that you have this grip, lean backward again and start stretching the leg. Yeah, it's easier like that, I know. <laughs> now, roll the right arm outward and open to the side. Look behind you, three breaths. Stand them up, shoulder blades down. And slowly go back to center okay let's change leg but I'm gonna show you the the yogi grip a little bit closer so the idea is to slide the index finger and middle fingers between the big toe and the second once that you have those two inside you bend it so you already have a sort of grip and then you use the thumb to close to lock this grip and just you have it you can also push with your big toe forward and the more you have those uh, combination the more the grip will be uh, quite tight Okay, on the other side, so bend your left leg, put your left feet close to the left buttocks, bend your right leg, grab with both hands, let's start with both hands and then um, in case you can grab the, um, the strap, Lean backward and start straightening the right leg. In case you need it, grab the strap, put the strap on the wider part of your right feet. Keep the leg straight, completely straight. Sternum up, shoulder blades down, three breaths. At the end of the third breath, bend your knee. Yogi grip, so index finger and middle fingers between the big toe and the second. Grab the big toe with the index and middle. Yes, lock it. Straighten. Stand them up, shoulder blades down. Roll the left, le uh, left arm outward. Push the thumb back. Stand them up even more. Okay, that's beautiful. Three breaths. Keep the right leg straight. At the end of the third breath, bend your knee and go back to center. Okay, that's beautiful. Really beautiful. And since it was that easy, ouch, use the yogi grip on both legs 
Now on both feet. So bend your, bend your knees and grab your feet, your big toes. Okay, with that, lean backward to find balance. And straighten your legs, slightly wide. Yay! Almost. <laughs> Remember that you can also use your breath to find a balance. Three breaths. At the end of the third. Bend your knees, put the two feet together for Baddha Konasana. Stand them up, shoulder blades down, roll the hip forward. Allow your chest to move toward the ground between the legs, roll the arms outward. Allow your, uh, your uh, head to move toward the feet. Stretch your neck, relax your buttocks, relax your belly, relax your throat. Five breaths. At the end of the fifth, slowly come up. Grab a bolster. And put the bolster under your feet. The knees are on the ground and the feet are on the bolster. Okay, slide the short, the slide the um, coccyx under the body and put your hands on the ground behind the uh, the, the 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 thing there, the. Bolster. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stand them up, shoulder blades down. Keep on rolling the hip backward. Keep on stretching, growing, and thighs. Five breaths. At the end of the fifth, slowly. Come back to center, to vertical. Okay. Put your left feet to the front. Seat on the right um, heel. Okay. Just like we did before, stand them up, shoulder blades down, roll the arms outward, put your hands on the ground. Lift your buttocks and tuck the tailbone under. Three breaths. And change leg. Put your left leg, uh, put your left feet over the bolster. Put your right feet in front. Seat on your left heel, lift your sternum, shoulder blades down, roll the arms outward, put your hands behind the bolster, inhale, with the exhalation, lift your buttocks, tuck the tailbone under, five breaths. 
five breaths, 30. Stretch your thighs. to vertical. Sit on the bolster in a comfortable position. Yay! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Finally! <laughs> Keep your feet quite wide. Put your hands in prey position. Okay. Lower your elbows and put your elbows right inside your knees. Create a line with the two elbows. Sternum up, shoulder blades down, three breaths. At the end of the third breath, just release. I know it wasn't hard, but it's good for the digestion. Just, it's just good. <laughs> okay. Now put your feet in Baddha Konasana. Still seated on the bolster, and try and move the heels a bit closer to the bolster. It's supposed to be quite comfortable. If it's not comfortable, just please move the feet apart. Not a problem. Turn them up, shoulder blades down. Inhale deeply. With the exhalation, roll your hips forward. Put your hands on the ground. Turn them up, shoulder blades down. Three breaths. At the end of the third breath, slowly come up. Now, grab your left ankle and move the left ankle to the right side. Yes, just like that. Put your right leg, uh, right feet, outside of your left knee. Sternum up, shoulder blades down, inhale deeply. With the exhalation, twist your body to the right. Put your left elbow outside of your right knee. Push the elbow against the knee to help you twist. Roll the right arm upward. Move the head a little bit uh, down. So also the shoulder will be down. Okay, perfect. And look at your um, right hand for three breaths. At the end of the third, go back to center. Change leg. So slide the right leg, uh, right ankle under the left leg, put your left feet outside of your right knee, sternum up, shoulder blades down, inhale deeply, with the exhalation twist to the left, put the outside of your right elbow, out of your, uh, outside of your uh, left knee, push elbows against knee, sternum up, shoulder blades down, roll the left arm outward, and look at your left hand for three breaths. <laughs> Keep on pushing with the elbows against the uh, against the the knee. <laughs> Sorry. At the end of the third, go back to center.
sorry. There's someone just just outside of the door. So <laughs> just yeah. Checking so that everything is good. It is okay, but it's okay. It's okay. It's just Christmas. Okay, now put the bolster between your knees, sit on your heels, check to have the two um, big toes touching and exactly at the same level. Stand them up, shoulder blades down, roll the hips forward and push uh, and put the uh, chest over the bolster. Three breaths with your arm, uh, with your head facing the right side. Three ones on the left. Slow, relaxed breath. Put your bolster perpendicular to the mat and put your um, the lower part of your chest, not the belly, but the lower part of the chest over the bolster. The belly is not touching the bolster. Okay. Bend both knees and grab the ankles. If the ankles are really too far away, but not, they're not. Okay, look in front of you. Bend slightly your elbows to push your heels toward the, the buttocks. Three breaths. Keep on pushing the heels toward the buttocks. Stand them up. There too. Okay. Now, allow the right leg to relax down, but keep the grip on the left one. Okay. Now, bend the left elbow and push the heel even more toward the buttocks to your maximum three breaths at the end of the third bend your right leg grab the the ankle allow the left leg to relax down Bend the right elbow and push the heel toward the buttocks. The more that you can. Okay, now bend the left leg again. Grab both legs. And push the two, um, the two feet toward the back of the mat. Almost to open your chest. Lift your sternum, shoulder blades down. Keep on pushing the feet back, 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 back. Observe that when you do this, also the muscles of your thighs, the quadriceps, is even more activated. Last moments, and then release both legs. Push, uh, put the hands over the bolster, push the chest, and go back into 
the more cuddling position of uh, the child pose. Three breaths. Looking to the right, three ones to the left. Seat over the bolster, put your hands on the thighs, create circles with the lumbar spine. Both on one side and on the other. Now you can enter Shavasana. <laughs> so find everything you need to be comfortable in Shavasana. So grab your socks, um, sweatshirt, um, blanket, if you have a uh, quite heavy blanket or something lightly heavy. <laughs> Put it over your belly just to relax even more. You can put the bolster under the knees to relax the lumbar spine. Use the first moments. Of Shadasana. to a scan of your body, to observe which part of your body held some tension and use your breath to release the tension. At the end of Shavasana, I'm gonna chant a mantra. And at the end of the mantra, I'm gonna guide you out of the pose till that very moment, just relax.
slowly. Start moving your toes and fingers. Bring the awareness into your body. Inhale deeply and exhale fully with your mouth. <sighs> Allow all tension to get released with the exhalation. Bend your knees, roll on the right side. Stay on the right side for a brief moment for sitting comfortably for the chant of three Om. Keep your spine straight, get relaxed. Put your hands in Shin Mudra or Inyan Mudra. So with a index finger and thumb together with the palm of the hand either facing the sky or the ground. Inhale deeply. Uh... Put your hands in prey position in front of the chest. Open your eyes. Namaste.